All right, guys. I don't know what this is. I guess it's just a pure smoky day. Good God, I feel like I'm in downtown LA or something here uh, on this gorgeous back road in paradise in the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, here on this smoky, was it Wednesday morning? August 11th or 12th, somewhere in there. So, uh, <laughs> guys, if you knew what I was doing right now, uh, I, I don't know if you would be cheering me on or uh, throwing a straight jacket on me. I, I'm going to manage to hit the edit button <clears throat> for uh, what I'm doing with my day today, but pretty much uh, what I'm doing with my day to day is uh, my favorite thing to do uh, on the planet and that is driving down beautiful back roads in what should be a beautiful day and not counting the wildfire smoke uh, driving down beautiful back roads on beautiful days with a woman on my mind with a girl on my mind now don't get me wrong i would i would much rather have a uh a a woman in the seat next to me <clears throat> but uh until i manifest that uh the second best thing is driving around uh, listening to all of these love songs. Now I can't play uh, the, the song that I'm listening to right now uh, over and over again is All Night Long by uh, Elvin Bishop. Uh, yes, I, anyone uh, not familiar with All Night Long by Elvin Bishop. I, I, I don't know if why I'm being so masochistic listening to all night long uh, just to to rub salt in my wounds I guess. But, you know what is it about I, I mean I was I I am good Lord I'm getting ready to turn 62. It was I was 16 years old when I first took the wheel of a gas-sucking car. Good Lord, 46 years I have been doing this. This is my, uh, well, my second favorite thing in the world. And uh, to do, I, I just don't get it about these self-driving cars. Why would anybody want a fucking self-driving car? Uh, it's just, uh, it, it, it completely flabbergasts me. So I am sitting here just burning fossil fuels uh, out of my gas sucking truck's ass, uh, enjoying this beautiful scenery, listening to uh, hopeless love songs. Now, of course, uh, all all night long uh, is not an unrequited uh, love song. I guess it's a requited love song where there's these rare moments when uh, males and females, when boys and girls actually somehow, somehow uh, the man uh, gets the woman or vice versa and it actually turns out and, oh yes, I need to uh, wish my dear sweet, is it August 12th today? I can't remember if it, I need to uh, wish my dear sweet ex-wife a happy 61st birthday today. I have no idea if that woman is dead or alive, uh, my dear sweet ex-wife. But happy birthday, darling, uh, just in case you're listening to this. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't think my dear sweet ex-wife has any interest in anything I have to say anymore. Yeah. 
guess, but we won't dredge up the ham sandwich. It's, uh, you know, I, I, I know Dulcinea, uh, Dulcinea just needs to have that ham sandwich moment with her, uh, I don't know what to call this guy. Uh, who is this dude, Dulcinea? Is, is he your fucking husband? Is he your fucking roommate? Who is this man? Uh, but whoever he is, uh, keeping you chained in your little suburban uh, comfort trap, your little velvet-lined rut uh, down there in suburbia, uh, you, you need to have the ham sandwich moment where, you, you know, it, when you just simply reach the point in a relationship where the fucking relationship has, has come to an end. Uh, you know, uh... So, but that's really not, I, you know, I, just, just being in this position of, uh, am I a Sancho or not? Uh, guys, I, 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 in my very weak defense, I, I honestly don't feel like I am uh, doing anything to break up Dulcinea's marriage. I, I mean, uh, assuming that the limited information that I have on the status of the marriage is an honest, correct assessment of the relationship, uh, if, 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 if I am have anything to do to be the catalyst to bring on the ham sandwich moment, uh, I guess uh, that's just uh, part of the reason that uh, Dulcinea's path and, and mine crossed. Uh, I, I realize this is, uh, you know, in my weak defense. Uh, if, if I honestly believed that uh, Dulcinea and her husband slash uh, buddy, whatever you call this guy, were, were in, you know what I'm saying, were in a loving, solid, monogamous, uh, passion-filled relationship, I would not uh, be dedicating my life to uh, to getting this woman in my life, but I, <laughs> I, 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 you know, guys, what can I say? I honestly believe uh, in, in deep in the recesses uh, of my uh, Sancho little uh, hambone heart that uh, Dulcinea. Uh, would be happier with me. Will she be as comfortable uh, with me? I, I assure you that uh, if Dulcinea chooses to hook up with Hamba and Littletail, <clears throat> that it's going to be a wild fucking rocket ride. The two of us together, uh, yes, uh, uh, we will be the uh, the dynamic duo, we will definitely be the Lucy and Ricky of the Doomosphere. Uh, I, I, I know this. Uh, you know, I, I have never in my entire life uh, felt this way uh, about a woman. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of my. You know, my teenage crushes when my when I was completely ruled by my hormones. Uh, <clears throat> you know, where my little brain just controlled my whole entire existence. Uh, but I'm not a fucking uh, horny uh, little teenager anymore. 
you know, I'm a, a, a 61 year old grown man and uh, getting ready to have a head on collision here in this smoky day. This, uh, okay, how am I gonna get around this idiot without having a head on collision? <clears throat> uh, and you know, all, uh, all this joking I, I, I like to do about uh, uh, Guy, Guy and Pauline. <laughs> you know, look at that. I, I do need to make a, uh, a, a, an amplification and clarification on that uh, rant uh, I had yesterday that it has been pointed out to me uh, that there that I, I, I did slip up in, uh, in that tale uh, about what went down in the mud hut and I, I just want to make it clear for the record that uh, I, I I said something like uh, in that rant yesterday that Mike and Karen Sleva were best friends with Guy and Pauline. That is not, uh, obviously, I had a brain fart. Uh, I, I assure you, uh, Pauline Love uh, well, was never Mike or Karen Sleva's friend on any level. Uh, you know, it's, uh, but, but I can kind of appreciate uh, Pauline's, uh, with, with all the shit that I give that woman, and, and guys, anybody thinking uh, that I give a flying fuck uh, about Pauline Love uh, one way or the other. I wish the woman all the best. Y you know, uh, she never did anything to me. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm having some fun at her expense, uh, you know, to fuck with uh, Guy McPherson. And, and uh, she's just uh, one, of, one of... One of the many ways that I enjoy fucking with Guy McPherson is using Pauline as a, as a pawn in my game. But anyway, uh, Pauline, I think, knows uh, that uh, I have nothing against her. And, and I can actually, you know, appreciate, I guess, uh, her position, you know, because Guy McPherson was in, you know, had a wife, uh, you know, at the mud hut. They were married and uh, uh, apparently, uh, you know, it was just a, you know, just a vanilla marriage. And uh, till Pauline showed up and ended up, uh, you know, she, you know, Pauline showed up on the scene, sized up the situation, and for whatever reason, which I do not understand, uh, she obviously uh, decided that uh, she was going to steal Guy away, uh, away from his wife, and uh, however she did it, uh, she succeeded. You know, she was a Sancha. Uh, and I, I, you know, I, I originally held that uh, against her. Uh, you know, Sancho's or Sancha's, uh, when you come in and, and, and break up a marriage, uh, you know, as I say, this is why Cervantes, uh, when he was trying to think of what, uh, you know, looking for the most reprehensible, the most morally reprehensible uh, person on the planet to name uh, Don Quixote's sidekick, it was Sancho. It, you know, the guy fucking your wife, or Sancha would be the woman fucking uh, your husband. Uh, just as when you, you know, when you look 
for the most morally reprehensible character. It's somebody, uh, an interloper that comes in and uh, starts fucking your wife or your husband. But I, I don't have any, I don't have any idea what Guy McPherson's uh, relationship was with his, uh, you know, now ex-wife. Uh, so I, I'm not going to sit here and judge uh, Pauline for showing up there out at the mud hut and uh, stirring up all of that shit. And uh, it's uh, it's it's their business. I you know it's between Pauline and Guy and and Guy's ex-wife. I guess. Now I I I <laughs> I know uh, uh, I I know some people's uh, and. Uh, if anyone uh, with some inside track knowledge of this, uh -uh, listening to this rant, uh, you're welcome to share it in this uh, comment. I remember uh, deleting the comment one time from a uh, from from someone. Uh, this this like three page comment uh, explaining what went down when Pauline showed up in Guy McPherson's life out at the Mud Hut, but I won't delete it next time, okay? If you want to put it on, I, I, I won't delete it. But, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that Pauline Love and Hambone Littletail do have something in common. That, you know, Pauline was uh, was obviously in my position a few years ago and uh, she went for it and I guess uh, if Guy McPherson is the gold ring I, I guess she grabbed the gold ring uh, you know uh, it's hard to say congratulations on uh, on getting uh, Guy McPherson as your prize, uh, I, rem I, I, <laughs> I just I've told this story before. Uh, you know, one time uh, these two sisters there used to actually a time in my life when I had sisters fighting over me that the these two sisters uh, were were both trying to uh, convince me that uh, they should be my girlfriend. So these, uh, th these two uh, girls, uh, you know, having this cat fight uh, uh, over Hambone. And finally, uh, obviously, I chose the kid sister. Uh, needless to say, I chose the kid sister and uh, the big sister's uh, parting shot to me was Hambone, if you're the prize, Lulu's the winner. <laughs> oh God, if you're the prize, Lulu's the winner. Uh, yep. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm uh, I'm hoping that uh, that Dulcinea. When uh, trying to, to decide between me and her comfort trap provider, when she, uh, I hope she decides, uh, I hope she decides that Hambone is the win, that Hambone is the prize. Yes, uh, when, when, when Hambone's the prize, <laughs> oh, God, why do I love women so much? You know, all of this shit, uh, people are calling me a fucking misogynist. I absolutely love women. Uh, I mean, uh, my, my entire life being dedicated to getting this woman in my life. Good God, look at this smoke. I mean, we're 3,000 miles. I, 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 is this shit from the, 
from the Dixie Fire? Is uh, that what we're looking at? But anyway, I need to pay attention to my driving on this uh, on this chaotic journey that uh, Don Quixote and his sidekick Sancho, or should it be Sancho and his sidekick Sancho, are on today. And uh, pay attention to my driving. And Dulcinea, I know you're listening to this. And I know what you're going through, girl. And uh, believe it or not, I am the prize. And you are the winner. I love you. Bye, darling. Bye, guys.